We'll start with a look at live Doppler 2 HD where we are seeing widespread snow now across the Miami Valley. Some areas seeing some moderate to larger snowflakes uh, additionally, especially across southern Montgomery County. You can see a transition happening now there in Greene County. We were still seeing a little bit of a rain snow mix across our southern counties. Pretty much everyone is seeing snow right now. Here's the view on our Goel Auto Auction camera where you can see windy conditions blowing that snow around. Additionally, downtown Dayton is back there, I promise. And we are dealing with low visibility. You can see only about three quarters of a mile out ahead of you through Dayton a mile there in Springfield here on our Duncan Oil Company camera and overall we've seen a transition as I mentioned to snow across our cells in Wright Patterson Air Force Base as well where we are dealing with the low visibility. That's going to be the main issue on our roads. If you're headed out for a lunch drive, we will be dealing with road surface temperature staying in the upper to mid 30s. So it's 38 degrees at the surface there in Piqua 38 in Lewisburg. We do have some 40s across uh, Montgomery County and in the Dayton metro area through Beaver Creek a little bit warmer with a little bit more traffic on the road there. Temperatures in the air right now sitting at 32 degrees in Troy. So we do have freezing temperatures from Troy to Greenville to Minster and through Bell Fountain. Dayton right now is sitting at 33 degrees. Overall for your day planner, we are going to be seeing these temperatures hovering right there around the freezing mark, maybe getting just a little bit warmer in Dayton, but I do expect freezing temperatures heading into the evening that may impact your commute after five o'clock. We will be dealing with a northwest wind as well that could gust up to 30 miles per hour. So travel alerts. Well, we will be looking at that falling snow with the roads above freezing though for the evening commute likely. But then Tuesday morning we drop those surface temperatures below freezing. Lows will be in the 20s and we will be dealing with a few flurries even into Tuesday evening. Here's the breakdown now on future track where we are looking at widespread snow continuing through the evening commute, but those showers will begin to taper off. We'll start to see isolated activity Tuesday morning, but remember temperatures are going to be colder Tuesday, and so there may be some travel issues. That winter weather advisory is until 7 a.m. Use caution on the roadways. We're still tracking anywhere from one to four inches of accumulation, mostly on grassy surfaces, higher end amounts up to our northeast. In your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast, we do see a few showers, snow showers continuing into Tuesday. You're high on Tuesday, only 34 degrees. We keep the cold Colder weather through the second half of the week. We will be seeing lows in the 20s Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with another chance of a rain snow mix by Sunday.